Welcome to this Intuit Profile webinar, sending a password protected PDF of the T183 to your clients. I'm going to walk through the steps to setting up PDF security in Profile, how you can create a password protected PDF to send to your clients, and how you can get them to sign and send it back to you. So let's go through the steps here. The first thing I have to do is set up the password protection. And I can do that in Profile and Options, Environment, and under the PDF tab. If I look at the bottom, there's a PDF security section. So I've selected client's first name and SIN. So what that'll do is give a password, which is the first five characters of the client's last name and the last three digits of their SIN. So I'm going to keep that selection and just press OK. I can go to Options, Administration. If I have an Options package, I can save it, but I don't, so I can just cancel out of this. So now I've set up the password protection in profile, I can create a T183 to send to a client. So to do this, I can go to File, Print Email PDF, and if I look here, I've got a, a mock client here with a mock SIN. The last three digits are zeros and the last name is person. So the first five digits would be P-E-R-S-O. So what I have here is um, under the selection, I'm going to uncheck the file copy because I don't need that right now. And I'm just going to select the T183 and the information page. So that's what I'm going to build into a PDF. And if I look down here, where I have highlighted, it has the email address. And this pulls over from the information page where I have the email address entered. And I've selected no for CRA online mail. If there's an email address here, you'll see a button that says email. And what this will do We'll build a PDF and attach it to an Outlook email. So you have to have desktop Microsoft Outlook and it has to be version 2010, release two or higher. So this is a method for a desktop version. If you have an online version of uh, an email provider like Gmail or Hotmail, I will show you how to do that after. So right now, what I'm going to do is click email to attach to an Outlook desktop. So it's created this email with the email address populated and the PDF. So what you can do is just fill this out and send it to a client. When they get the email, they can open it and it will be password protected. So I can just type in the password, first five, digit, uh, first five characters of the last name and the last three digits of the SIN. This is um, capital sensitive. Okay, so now I've got the T183 opened. I can scroll down and usually you'd want at least part G signed. And in this email provider or this uh, reader of a PDF, I have Adobe Acrobat Reader DC and it has a signing feature. So up at the top in the toolbar here, I can click sign and I've set this up just to type in Duncan, put in Duncan. 
So I can go down to the section G. And just put in the password, uh, the signature. So what I can do now is just save this. And I'm just going to call this three so I can distinguish it. Save. And now what your client can do is send it back to you. And what they can do is attach a file. And I name this personal planner three. So they can attach the signed copy, email it back to you. Once you get it, you can open it. And it will be the same password. And then you can just confirm that you have the signature. So that's the method you can use if you have Microsoft Outlook desktop. What I will now do is the same procedure, building a PDF, except this time I will do it through Gmail. So what I can do is go the same way, file, print email PDF. This time I'm not using Outlook, so I'm going to take the email address out and I can look and see this email button change to build. So what it will do will build a PDF in the location where the tax file stored. So I can just click build and it will build the secure PDF. put the file copy in here, which wouldn't be quite needed at this point, but it's there. Then I can go to a software such as Gmail and I can attach a document. So I'll just go to the attach function and need documents. And it should be in a folder here. And I'm just going to attach it. So this is a manual attachment of a PDF I built in profile. And it's the same, works the same way. Your client can open it in a PDF reader and sign it. So that's two methods of getting the PDF to your clients so they can sign it and send it back. Uh, I use the e-signature e method and your clients can also just print out the T183, sign it, scan it, and, and uh, send the email, email you back the scanned copy of the PDF. So I hope that helps getting secure documents to your clients via PDF, and thank you for watching this webinar.